This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to do, but anytime I want to. Now we're cooking with evil guys. Yeah, that's that. I'm rushing to be cooked. I'm rushing to be cooked. and discriminate. The crime which are weakening on the first I give you a Hey, let's get this party started. Mom? <laughs> Hey everybody, today we have a special guest to introduce the show for us. It's Richard Simmons! <laughs> hey! I wanna dance with somebody! <laughs> Hi! Hi! Hi everybody! Woo! <laughs> hey, come dance with me! Come dance with me! <laughs> come dance with us, come on! And you, come dance too! <laughs> Oh, man, that's great. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Can we get a round of applause for Richard Simmons, please? Round of applause for Richard Simmons. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, hello, everyone. Welcome to the show, uh, uh, Openly Hostile Opinions. This is episode 33, I think, something like that. 34, 33, I don't know. Uh, Does anybody still watch us? I don't know. Who knows? Did anybody ever start? I, I have no idea. Yeah, this is a show where... Uh, Child molesters don't matter, and your hopes and dreams don't exist. <laughs> you are a beacon of positivity. Yeah. We should all strive to be as, as happy as you are. I'm always happy. I'm always happy. I got I to gotta shield it with comedy. <laughs> Shit. Ow. God damn it. What the fuck did you do? Oh, my tattoos. My, my wife's been giving me free tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's like uh, I'm peeling like cheap paint. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's what they call it these days, free tattoos. <laughs> no, nah, she's starting to get into tattooing, which is really cool. But uh, uh, I'm the I'm the guinea pig. Oh, nice. so, so uh, nice. yeah, it's it's on my wrist, so it's like a high traffic area, and it's <laughs> really a high traffic area. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of a lot of bending and twisting going uh, on there. Yeah, so. I bet, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good, good. <laughs> yes. So uh, yeah, do you want to introduce the beer today? Yeah, why the hell not? I think I don't. I can't remember whether or not we've done this or not yet. In fact, Casey and I were just discussing the other day. We should probably go ahead and make a list of all the ones we've already done, so we don't have repeats. So, yeah, we're, we're getting to the point where we're doing uh, so many shows and stuff like that. We keep forgetting, you know, have we done this? Have we done that? Have we covered this story? Have we covered that story? Have we drank this beer? You know? Yeah, we. <laughs> I mean, we've done like thirty-three something different beers now, so. Yeah. Maybe we've repeated. I don't know. You, in case we haven't done this one, hopefully we haven't. It's a uh, Dirt Wolf Double IPA by Victory Brewing Company. Victory Brewing Company out of Downington, PA. Uh, this is a pretty good one. I've had this before. It's a eight point seven uh, alcohol by volume. Fucking Christ! So it's, uh, it's a pretty big. <laughs> Ain't beer. going to the bank today. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. It's not like you're drinking ten of them. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, where? Let me play the thing. I remember this being high alcohol content, but I don't remember it being 8.7. <laughs> yeah, it's not something you want to have a lot of. And yet again, I didn't eat anything before we did the show, so that's going to be good. Yeah, I haven't either. I had some uh, Hawaiian punch in a can. Hawaiian punch in a can tastes weird. I don't like it. <laughs> it just tastes it's the weird. the same fucking product. No, it tastes weird. Because I think you're so used to drinking something carbonated in a can. And if it's not, it's just fucking weird to me. <laughs> you know, you got a point there. I don't like drinking non carbonated I know. items. I know. It's weird. It just feels third worldish. <laughs> yeah, kind of. If, if, that, if that's the best way to explain it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and try this. Whoop. Oh, my God. <laughs> How in the hell did you do that? It's a little bit warm, and that made it foamy. Holy fuck, is that grapefruity? I think that's more grapefruit than that we had that Laguanitas. Uh, what was it, the little something something? Yeah, I this mean, this is a thousand times more grapefruity. I would say yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. Is grapefruit or grapefruit juice? It's hop. It's citrus. It's got a little bit of that piney finish to it. It's got a little bit of that uh, caramely maltiness, but it's just a tiny bit. It's a little bit on the finish of it. Yeah, I'm getting the very piney stuff right now. <laughs> I didn't know there was a piney stuff after taste. I just. Heard it was very citrusy, yeah, and it is very citrusy. Yeah, it's got a lot of that. It's got a very astringent, hoppy bite. Yeah, it's, very. Like, it, this is not a session beer. <laughs> no, and this is fucking like 
like last week's beer too. This just sucks all the moisture out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not not a session beer. Yeah, this like is, it, uh, have one and done. Yeah, like if you're a porn star and you have to suck a lot of dicks, you know that day don't drink this. You're gonna have no moisture in your mouth. <laughs> and we all know that everything needs water to grow. <laughs> To all you ladies out there, <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's pretty good though. I I really like it. Um, if I would have to rate it, um, it's not my favorite. Uh, I think there's better IPAs out there. It has too much hop to me to tell you the truth. It, there's no balance. <laughs> yeah, uh, no balance at all. If I would rate it, I'd give it three and a half out of five wannabe Instagram models. <laughs> Yeah, three and a half sounds about right. Yeah, I, I would. I would. It's not really worth a four. It, it's a really well brewed beer. If you like that kind of stuff, it's just too much hop. The the too much hop takes all the flavor. I think you're just like. I don't beer underst- face. I don't understand the the intense popularity of IPAs. To be perfectly honest with you, I like IPAs. Hipsters. Eh, well, <laughs> I don't know. I like IPAs. I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't. But I don't. Mm-hmm. It's not my favorite style. I don't think it's the end all be all for beer. Yeah, it's like, hey, let's take it and put as much fucking hop in it as we possibly can in order to punish the taste buds of anybody who may be trying. Yeah, I don't. I, I have don't no idea. It. And I and just like microbrews in general, it's just it, it became so popular. Like, no, you, you can never go to the store and get anything like this way back in the day mm-hmm. when well, we were younger and everything. It was all Budweiser, Bush, and stuff like that. Yeah, when we were stealing beers from our dad. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. I remember we used to steal this beer from our one friend's, and it just was called Black and Tan. They didn't even have, like, oh, yeah. a beer. It's, it's Yingling. It's uh, No, Yingling it was mission. just called Black and Tan. It wasn't Yingling. Oh, it wasn't it a was this Yingling cheap, Black and Tan? No, it was a cheap beer called... It was just called Black and Tan, and I can't... It was so disgusting. Are you sure it wasn't the Yingling one? Because that's their, no. their lager and porter mixed together. Yeah, but other people make black and tans, and it was just called black and tan. And it was just a beer called black and tan. It was fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah, you know what else was terrible? What's Ice that? House. Oh, yeah. I always drank that. Like, it was we, cheap. <laughs> yeah, it was really cheap. I think it was like six fifty for a 12-pack at my local store that I used to live by called Joey's Place. Um, Milwaukee's Best, or, yeah. or affectionately known as The Beast. Yeah. Uh, we always used to get kegs of that because I used to party at a college a lot. Then I never went to college. <laughs> well, back then I was like sixteen. <laughs> uh, when I was sixteen years old, the internet came out, and uh, parents didn't really watch their kids that much, so we just went out and did drugs. <laughs> For the record, the internet did not just come out; it may have been gaining in popularity. You're not ninety. All right, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that shit. Uh, let me see if I could find this here. <laughs> Uh, black and tan label. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can just find. Ah, it's just showing Guinness and stuff. I'll have to find it sometime. It was it was the cheapest fucking piece of shit beer I've ever had in my life, and I never saw a logo on it from anybody. Like if if uh, you look at some of these pictures, like this one's Michelob. Uh, yeah, this is the one you were talking about, Jay. The black Yingling black and tan. Yeah, yeah. This this beer just said black and tan on it. That's it. That's all it said. <laughs> Excuse me, but yeah. Uh, uh, back in the day, I miss being young, man. <laughs> I do. You could do anything you want. Your body didn't feel like shit all the time. Drinking uh, was no longer a sport. Yeah, exactly. Like, God, or drinking was a sport. Was a sport I should yeah. say. Yeah, it didn't have a recoup period. Yeah, like fucking Christ, man. If I drink more than a fucking like, if I drink a twelve pack, I'm I'm horrible for two days, maybe even three. I don't, even, I don't <laughs> need a twelve pack anymore. Yeah, like it's just god awful, man. To be fair though, I had a bit of a uh, was it last Christmas or the Christmas before. I don't know. I had a bit of an incident. It was the it was two Christmases ago, <laughs> and I missed it. <laughs> so it's been like two Christmases since I've drank heavily. Uh-huh. Uh, I got destroyed. <laughs> and I, I'm not talking like I got a little drunk. I got destroyed. I got to the point where uh, people are telling me what I did that night, and I refuse to believe any of it because if I can't remember it, it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I apparently embarrassed myself, but yet again, if I can't remember it, I can't be embarrassed now, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So anyway, uh, I I was just like drinking the hard, Yeah, and I it was, was bad because you were drinking the hard liquor. <laughs> yeah, I had a kind of a rum thing at that point going on. Then yeah. I had a vodka thing, and then I had a whatever else was left in the liquor cabinet <laughs> thing. 
and I just got fucking ripped. And my <laughs> wife is not much of a drinker to begin with. Mm -hmm. So uh, kudos to her to be putting up with my dumb ass for as long as she did yeah. at that point. <laughs> That's love right there. <laughs> love. I, I missed the entire next day. Like, I was trying to, like, go go tuck my kids in after they've already been in bed for hours. And, oh, it was. <laughs> You're like, oh, I got to go tuck my kids. <laughs> it's exactly what I was doing. Yeah, it was oh. bad. Dr drunk stubbornness i love it oh <laughs> yeah i was i was bad like the shaving thing we were talking about i'm gonna go and shave <laughs> <laughs> fucking joe <clears throat> i hate drunken stubbornness it's just so bad it gets you into so much trouble uh, normally i'm the one who's not that drunk and i'm babysitting all the drunken morons but this time i was just i know I that's why i was surprised because we have a get together and everything like that and i come over at christmas and we're all hanging out, you know, Jay's family and a bunch of friends. And I'm like, where's Jay? And they're like, oh, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I made it I made it over to the family gathering, uh, which happened, thank God, to be across the street from my home. Uh, I made it for about a half an hour. <laughs> I, I was there and like, nope, we're done. <laughs> we're done. I'm tapping out. We're done. I, I walked back over to the house and I slept. I was, I was completely absent. All of Christmas, which did not make my children very happy, <laughs> and and even less so did it make my wife happy, as one would imagine. Yeah, it's but that's the thing. That's that's love. <laughs> if you could deal with your uh, partner, the fact she didn't kick my ass out of the house is probably a good enough, yeah. uh, good enough uh, example of love. Yeah, that's the thing. If if you can deal with your you know spouse during a hangover it's love <laughs> oh yeah I, I was like sipping liquor straight out of the bottles and like oh grabbing. you were going straight bottle i was going straight bottle you were was, raw dogging it <laughs> <laughs> i was eating these raw carrots i guess and i just like talking and chewing and talking and chewing and little bits <laughs> of carrot are falling all over my face i'm getting all my angry and i'm shoving more carrots in my mouth and oh jesus i man. fucking like the next day all my puke was orange and <laughs> like I had chunks of carrot in it. Hey, man, at least you were eating healthy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it's real healthy, along with the, t the mass amounts of toxin I was taking in. I, I fucking... I remember killing off the bottle of rum we had, and I went on to something else. I was drinking, like... Pinnacle whipped vodka, which is never meant oh. to be served straight. Oh, that stuff's so sweet. But by that point, I couldn't taste it anyway. Nah. We had like this cherry vodka I was drinking. Oh, got, man. No wonder you were so bad. So much sugar. Oh, Jesus oh I can't Christ. even I can't even begin to describe the, <laughs> the the hell that I went through for like probably three days by the time I had gotten. Totally Do you know back why to you normal. were starting to drink so much? Like was, it was fun. You were having a bad day. <laughs> I was having fun. Um, and I just decided on tying one on, and then I <laughs> then I went from tying one on to completely uh, plastered, and then I went from plaster to uh, should have been in a coma, to uh, probably <laughs> should get his stomach pumped. Yeah, I I I hate it. Like I I don't know if you've ever felt like this, but you know you have a bad day or something, or work just sucks dick, and you're just like, God, I need a fucking drink, and one drink turns into three drinks, three drinks turns into twelve. Next thing you know, you have an eighty dollar tab at the bar. You go home with a twelve pack. <laughs> I not no, I don't normally have that problem because oh, I I have built in built in resistance to that, and that <laughs> I'm a puker. Oh yeah. Oh, I've been there too. I've been where I've drank so much alcohol and shit <laughs> like that. I'll just fucking drink, drink, and just go to the bathroom. Yeah, just everywhere, and then go back out of the bar, and start drinking. <laughs> drink, drink, pope. Yep. Drink, drink, punk. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking oh, man. To be young again, cool. dude. I can't do that shit anymore. <laughs> well, I, I, I did it two years ago, and it just... Ugh. it. I was. I probably wasn't totally right for like a week. I know, dude. That's what I'm saying, man. When you're in your 20s, early 20s, when you just hit 21... You could drink, wake up, go fucking jogging, have a smorgasbord, go on a cruise, you know, play volleyball. When you're in your 30s, dude, and you drink, you wake up and you're like, death is around me. <laughs> you're <That> just like, somebody <laughs> kill me. I know, dude. It's like you're fucking dying. It is so <laughs> bad. Or you want to die. Yeah. Somebody shoot me. It oh. would be... 
please free me from this trash <laughs> know, hell. Dude, you're just like, please <laughs> let there be a zombie apocalypse <laughs> just to take me out of my you fucking would fit misery. In. Yeah, if probably. You're like me, you'd fit right in. Oh, <laughs> I know. Oh, That's the thing. I'm bacon so bacon <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> I'm so pale, and there's such big bags under my eyes. I, I think if there's a zombie apocalypse, they'd just pass right over me. <laughs> <laughs> they'd be like, uh, yeah. no, <laughs> he's one of us. Yeah, I'd be like walking through him and stuff like that. They'd be hand me brains. You hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just can't drink like I used to. Yeah, me either. I, I remember my 21st birthday. We celebrated. I was uh, away at college at the time. And me and uh, my uh, buddy who is currently not with us. Because uh, he's not dead or nothing. He's just not with us. Uh, Are you talking about Jailbird? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once uh, he gets out of jail. First of all, I got to hide all my things because he went to jail for heroin. <laughs> I don't really think we need to air the entire story. Yeah, we do. He was in jail for heroin. <laughs> we're not we don't we're not mentioning his name or anything. But anyways, he was in for heroin and stuff. So I don't know when he gets out, he, he's gonna need some uh, friendly love and stuff like that. Not like you know, love, but <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get him on a show. He's a funny guy. He's a very funny guy. Well, Besides the heroin part. Assuming he's not all depressed and sad and, you know, yeah. like prison tends to do to people. I know. Like, he's going to come in. Like, when, when he gets out of prison, I'm just going to, like, think he's going to come in. Like, the Family Guy episode where Meg comes in. Where she gets out of prison. She's like, who's the strongest guy here? She's he might. Being... You never know. He was pretty big when he went in. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so, so we celebrated my 21st birthday away from home. I was in college. We celebrated it at the same bar that I celebrated my, you know, 20th birthday. <laughs> because I had a beard since I was like 13. Yeah. So, you know, nobody ever carded me. <laughs> I don't think I have been carded, but like twice at the state store. And that's just because you have to. Yeah, state stores are pretty strict. Oh, yeah. State store. For those of you outside of Pennsylvania. <laughs> I was going to say, we better explain anyone that all of our liquor, all of our hard liquor is sold by the state because that makes any kind of sense. Yeah, it's just weird. Like we said, we said this previous times, but anyone that, you know, is first watching Pennsylvania has very strict laws. Uh, it comes we got from, stupid laws. Yeah, I don't even really just that they're strict. They're stupid. Yeah, I, I actually had to. I work in a restaurant, so I had to take my ramp test. And oh god, <laughs> Ramp, ramps the the alcohol thing for yeah. servers. It, it took me like four fucking hours because it's just fucking like slides of all this bullshit. And I just remember it's like the, one of the first slides is what is alcohol? And I'm like, ah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I hear I can type that in for you. It's like it's helped white people dance <laughs> for a long time. Jesus. Oh, oh, restaurants, restaurants. Let's get into that. <laughs> Casey was telling me this story the other day, and I feel like he has to share it with you. Tell which, the which one tell the it? fry story. The fry story about batter dipped fries. Oh yeah, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was just I've never had this question before. Ever. Ever in my life. <laughs> Waiting on tables. But for some reason, it was like the apocalypse of beer battered fries. <laughs> I had um, a phone call. It was one of my first orders. It was a to-go order. And they were ordering stuff. And they go, excuse me, what are batter dip fries? The inner, you know, hatred and devil inside me. You know, anything from reaching through the f phone and, like, choking this bitch. <laughs> That's such a stupid question. What are batter dip fries? And you know what I said? I was like, all right, I'm going to fuck with this bitch. You know, besides, you know, you going to her house, pulling her tampon out and choking it with her own string. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> but. Ew. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, have, I have very vivid dreams. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, you know, what? I'm going to fuck with this bitch. So I go, they are fries with beer batter on them. And you know what she says? They sound delicious. I'll have them. When, when he was telling me the story, I, I have to interject here. You didn't say they were fries with beer batter. You said, she said they were, uh, what are batter dip fries? You said fries dipped in batter. Yeah, same fucking thing. All I did was reverse but, it. Yes, it was literally, you said the exact the, the, I back. said the exact. That's, that's what made that, it funny. The same exact thing backwards. And she goes, that sounds lovely. I'll have those. So I'm like, what a weird fucking question to start off today. So like three tables into it, I get another one. What are batter dip fries? And I'm like, I just looked at the sale. And I'm like, God, <laughs> what is it today? What, what, did, did, I, I what do? did I do to deserve Did I this? say, God damn it, too many times or something? So I said the same exact thing. 
I, I just said it reverse, and she goes, oh, that sounds so good. I'm like, I, it just, oh, God, it shows how fucking stupid people are. <laughs> like, oh, man. Oh, For geez. all of you who have <laughs> never worked in the food service industry, this is what servers talk about behind your backs. Mm-hmm. You want to know why? You know, if you ever work in a kitchen and you want to know why servers aren't back there getting their food, because we're explaining shit like that to people. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Or or uh, even before I worked in the food service industry, if I didn't like stuff that was on something, I just ordered something else. I know, I know. Or I, I picked I just, it off. And, and I love it, too, because right before... Right before someone orders something that's all fucking mods, they go, I'm going to be a pain in the ass. And it's like, well, oh, good. good. At least you're aware that you're an idiot. Oh, good. I know. That's the thing. And it's usually a woman. Sorry. <laughs> but, <laughs> and it's always the husband is like, honey, you are so fucking spoiled. <laughs> it's just, you know what gets me? This one, this one, in my years of doing this, has been my biggest pet peeve on the face of the planet. Getting stupid shit on the side. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't mind, like, a condiment. Yeah. Because you might like a little bit less mayonnaise. You might Mm -hmm. like a little bit more. You know how much you like. Yeah, condiments make sense. I get that. But when you order the lettuce and tomato on the side, you either like lettuce and tomato or you fucking don't. I know. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Or cheese on the side. I know. What are you going to do with that cheese? I know. It's it, They're going to do the meme. <laughs> they're going to sprinkle it. <laughs> or, or if something normally comes smothered in gravy and you get the gravy on the side, you're going to pour it on the thing as soon as it gets to the I know. table. I know. Why not just get it the way it's meant to be? People are fucking spoiled, dude. And that's like I said, we need some kind of apocalypse to knock people down a notch. Vain... Being vain is a horrible thing in America. I'll tell you what, though. If I ever owned a restaurant, I would be one of those places that that's like total like soup Nazi. Like there's yeah. no, yep. no substitutions, yep. no mods, nope. nothing special. Yep. Nope. And you know what? Most All of the steaks, time, medium rare or below. Sorry, bitches. Oh, I'd probably do medium or below. But no prob- medium well, no well. Nope. That, that one's kind of a kind of a cover your ass issue. So you probably shouldn't do that. One. Nope. Who cares? You got to Hey, you put the it, it's the law that if you do anything below well, you got to put a, you know, uh, disclaimer a yeah. disclaimer on the menu and then you're covered because you know uh, that's that's the thing yeah, there's a I lot of restaurants the like choice that. away might be a problem no fuck people we're taking away the choice because they're not allowed to mod <laughs> I, I actually worked at a place for a, a short amount of time because they were doing shit so blatantly illegal that i couldn't stay there <laughs> but i worked at a place Touch for a, kids. Yeah, n- not quite i worked at a place there uh that had on their menu uh we we'll, we we'll only serve medium well or above. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I, I, I will. That needs to come off the menu. Yeah, hey, what's it called? The Donald Trump steak. <laughs> it's fucking well done. So well done. It rocks with ketchup. Yeah, that's fucking disgusting. Uh, and, I, and that just like I get chest pains <laughs> when that happens. When I'm like, would you like any A one or anything? They're like, no, just ketchup. I'm like, uh, 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 I, I'll do a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I know, and that's delicious. I actually told someone about uh, how we were talking about how Worcestershire sauce is actually made with fish, and they were like, "What? That's all it is." It's I know. They were like, "I say what?" It's little, literally fermented fish juice with some onions. And I know, but it. the thing is, is if you think about it, really, there's no fishy taste to it. Well, like, there's it's because really... they leave it in a barrel for over a year. Yeah, like I've you know eaten vagina that's tasted you know fishier than Worcestershire sauce. But, you know, speaking of child molesters, we got an update. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's talk about this, too. I wish we had, like, the Unsolved Mysteries music and we're like, update. <laughs> like they used to back in the day. They should bring that show back. <laughs> Especially since I've been getting into the podcast and everything like that. And everyone has a huge heart on for true crime podcasts. Like, holy fuck, man. <laughs> like, being in the podcast and everything, I was, you know, trying to reach out to certain groups and everything and talk. About, but everyone likes true crime. I'm like, I, I just can't get into it. <laughs> I just can't get into it. It's just. Oh, do you got it? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking creepy, man. <laughs> I hope we don't get copyright flagged for this. If they if they still have copyright for this, that's fucking disturbing. <laughs> oh man, when that music came on when you were little, you're like, what? Woo! Yeah, like what atrocity is this? <laughs> atrocity? Whatever, yeah. <laughs> no, like this fucking beer is like sucking the life out of me. <laughs> 
I can blame the beer. No, I'm serious. Hey, you were blaming the beer last week, so. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do, damn it. But anyways, we're uh, the child molester update. So yeah. basically, uh, for anyone that listens to the show a lot, we have a child molester that lives in this town. He admitted well, to he, it. he's moved, but still, yeah. he lives only a few miles. He from admitted there. to it. Uh, in my personal opinion, a year ago, might I add? Yeah, in my over. personal opinion, who knows what went on in that room? They might have forced him to admit it. Who knows? But if you admit something, you should be in jail by now. He admitted it publicly in the bar. I I know, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. There is a huge psychological thing with cops, and I'm not going to get into it. But you the know, cops hadn't arrested him yet. They at that they, point. they 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 sit you in a room for days and they shine a light in your face. They don't give you water and they don't get you. So I'm just saying, I'm not getting into it, but I'm just saying, okay. I don't know he, what happened. He to admitted him. it in a bar. I not know under duress. we weren't in that bar. We yes, were, we were. This was after the, this was after the thing. No, it was yes, it was. Yes, it was. That's why I have my doubts. <laughs> it was after he talked to the cops and that's why it's my doubts. And I'm not just saying, I think he did it, but whatever. But what I'm just saying is I wasn't in that room when he admitted to the cops. All right. But, <laughs> if you do admit that, you should probably be in jail. So he admitted this a year ago, and he finally had his trial, what, yesterday? I think it was. And uh, he pleaded insanity or some bullshit like that. Well, of to, to touch children, you probably have a little bit of... You're, you're not right. Now. Yeah, you're not right that. But anyways, so he had his court hearing yesterday, and they couldn't go any further. Because his psych- his psychologist didn't show up. And you need two psychologists to do this. You need one on the defense and one on the prosecution. His didn't show up. They tried to call him and all this stuff, and he never picked up. And I Because doctors that, don't have secretaries. Yeah, exactly. I think it's bullshit. It, it's, and like I say, a lot of trial is dramatic. It's just all dramatics. That's all it is. And uh, for anyone that knows Ashley the neighbor... She, you know, had to go there and everything like that. <laughs> Damn it, where's my sound effect? Yeah. So, um, she went there and everything like that. Was so, <laughs> they they had to postpone it because his psychologist didn't show up. And in order to proceed, you need both psychologists there. And Ashley was telling me she thought it was hilarious because uh, the prosecution was saying, you know, this has gone on too long. He needs to be in jail, blah, 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 Didn't blah, blah. did he slam his hand on the table like yeah. a fucking movie? Yeah, and the def- uh, the defense slammed their hand on the table and goes, objection! And Ashley, like, jumped and she goes, it's like the movies. <laughs> <laughs> she got so excited. <laughs> Dude, we need to get her on here and interview her about that. Yeah, about the situation. We need, we'll, we'll try to work on that in the we next can, couple We can couple get the weeks. true crime podcast. <laughs> we we have a couple of things we need to we got planned you know we got yeah. that we're gonna have cricket on the show one of these days via Skype yeah she li- so, she lives a couple states away so <laughs> we have to get her on Skype. she lives she lives in fucking Florida yeah. and I'm jealous as hell of her right now because it got cold again here mm-hmm. fuck that shit I do I just start my coal stove again it leaks CO two a lot so you know hopefully right. we're not dead yeah I can <laughs> or I don't not know CO two I always say CO two C O <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether uh, I can attribute the headache that I have right now to this fucking grapefruit beer. Is that why you took your headset off? Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, the sound of our own voices rattling through my headset sometimes gives me a headache, yes. <laughs> oh, great, great, Jay. <laughs> me rattling. Oh, man. Well, I, it's it's nothing against anything. Sometimes it just... It, no, I, I think the pressure I'm offended. on my head. I'm offended. <laughs> because oh, this is why don't 2017, you get on, and you get I'm on offended Tumblr. by everything. I know. Why don't you and get on Tumblr? Tumblr and talk is about such it. a cesspool of disease. <laughs> I fucking Tumblr is so retarded. Thank you for not calling it cancer, because that shit just annoys me. What? When people call shit cancer? Yeah. I don't play video games because that, people... that's all everyone says. This is cancer. This is AIDS. <laughs> well, that bothers me. You know what? I know people who died from cancer and shit, and it's like you know, some stupid shit on the internet is not cancer. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the way people are like, oh, I get anxiety. It's like <laughs> if you really saw a person get really extreme anxiety, you'd probably stop saying it. It is like fucking nom. <laughs> it's so bad. When you see someone have an anxiety attack, you're just like, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. 
And yeah. that's like I said in the show before we were talking about OCD and all this shit. It's like there's OCD and then there's OCD where you wash your hands so much your skin falls off. Yeah. <laughs> but people are, you know, stupid wow. and ignorant and just don't just don't know. You know how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. But you like know. Tumblr, like that's that's a lot of the shit I see personally where all this fucking uh, cesspool bullshit comes from of people getting so pissed off about everything. Like I have a friend. And uh, she's on Facebook and everything like that. Everything she posts is depressing. It's horrible. And she's so depressed all the time. And it's like, because you look for it. Holy fuck. You know what? <laughs> I think a lot of people anymore with uh, the prevalence of social networking and the fact that anybody can be a pundit, so to speak, I think a lot of that has to do with with the fact that people are playing for the non-existent camera. Yeah. Even in their own real lives, they, they do that. Mm -hmm. Hell, I'm guilty of it sometimes. I say shit just because I know it'll make people laugh sometimes, you know? Yeah. You almost pretend there's a studio audience. Yeah. It's one thing to come on this show that we actually do have viewers, uh, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. We do have subscribers. We do have people who faithfully watch us every week or listen to us on the podcast. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of pertinent for us to try to be entertaining. Mm-hmm. But, you know, other people do this shit on their own fucking free time, which is retarded. I know. And I just, I can't. And and the thing is, is I just, I know there's evil out there. And I know there's horribleness out there. But stop looking for it. And it's getting to the point where people are just looking for it. They sit there on Tumblr all day and just look at depressing. Like, like she was posting, like, uh white woman cuts in front of Muslim woman and is, it, it is hated for it and hates Muslims and all this shit. And it's like people cut in front of line of people all the fucking time. It's not because they're white. It's not because they're Muslim. It's human nature. Humans suck. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> people are rude to each other. It doesn't matter what color you are. People suck. There's always been wars. There's always been death. There's always been everything. There is rapists. There is serial killers. There is child molesters in my hometown. There is <laughs> there is cheaters. There is liars. <laughs> and it happens all the time. And if you sit there on Tumblr and you fucking look at it every day, you're going to be depressed. And the world is going to be devastating to you. And you're going to dress up like a vagina and just start marching. <laughs> I am I am so making a Casey's on a rant sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just, I can't deal with it, man. I can't deal with it. I, You know, me personally, I feel like I've been through, you know, a pretty good amount in my life. It was, you know, maybe others would be like, oh, whatever. But for me, it was, you know, pretty difficult. I'm still, you know, well, everybody's learning own fucking yeah. story. They're the exactly. hero of their own story. And it's just like, I see all these people so fucking depressed. And I'm like, no fucking wonder you look for it. Like, once I, dude, dude, once I see depression, I just like hold up a fucking goddamn, you know, crucifix. <laughs> crucifix this fucking beer crucifix and just like throw holy water at it i'm like you depressed motherfuckers get the fuck away from me <laughs> and there's times where when it's shit's going wrong i go in my house lock the doors get all these covers on me like not today <laughs> but to go back to my whole cancer thing hey at least you don't have cancer <laughs> yeah, exactly and that's what i'm saying i try so hard to be positive and just like you know you know, be like, oh, man, I woke up today with heat in my house and food in my belly. And then, you know, you just see these fucking cunts. And beer <laughs> on our table. Yeah. It's like, I'm so fucking thank thankful, you know. I have a weird house. My house is shit. It breaks like every day. But you know what? I still have a full belly. And that's the thing. People need to be more fucking thankful. And that's what I mean about another, like, something... You know, apocalyptic, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because people need to take a step back and realize how fucking well you are right now. I've really got to update my soundboard. <laughs> I've got to I gotta get some shit on here for you and We you. need the sound clip. I love, I love when you go on these rants. <laughs> I just can't help it, man. We need the sound clip where Alex, Alex Jones is talking about putting chemicals in the water to make the frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, shit. I'm more talking. What we need is a, a southern preacher to go, praise Jesus! I know, dude. I need... I feel like one of those old Baptist Southern preachers, you know, with the handkerchiefs wiping the sweat off their foreheads. I tell you, <laughs> yeah. the Lord, he is great. Yeah, the Lord, he is coming to save oh, you from, from the devil. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't fucking <laughs> get it, dude. I don't, I don't get it. And, and Praise I, Jesus. <laughs> praise, praise Jesus. 
Praise the Lord. But going on this rant, I have no idea why this reminded me of it, but I saw the coolest fucking thing last night. Oh, yeah? And I guess you could talk about this as like a thing we love or something like that. Sure. Uh, I got some things we love today, too, so that works out. Yeah, let's go right into it. We'll go right into that segment. Let's just spread, you know, spread those legs open. Get right into it. Spread the joy. (laughs) Yeah, because, you know, I'm a negative piece of shit, and, you know, we got a little low. We got a little low. But like the preacher, we get low. And then we go high. We go high. <laughs> Be like those fucking guys dancing and yeah, spinning and shit. I know. On the Blues I love Brothers. that though when the preacher's like, then we, he gets like really quiet and he's like, then we talk about Jesus. And we get low. And then he's, his voice starts getting higher and the, the choir in the background starts getting higher. And they're like, Bleh. it's so good. But, anyways, uh, Twitch. What's that? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of popped up. I didn't notice it before. Um, yeah, so Twitch. I watch a lot of Twitch. Um, and they do uh, when you... Fr- <laughs> I don't right, think Mike, I like you watching this shit because you can't see You can Mike, see the shit I'm doing uh, in the background. Calm down, Michael J. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn. I heard, he got, I heard he got a new job. I heard he got a job serving wine. But anyways... <laughs> Um, I don't know. I thought he was uh, handing out milkshakes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. That's, that's the thing. We're so... We were just making fun of... Don't make fun of people with cancer. But with Parkinson's, <laughs> it's all right. You know what? In our fucking Votech class, we had this bitch with Parkinson's. I wouldn't normally make, make fun of her for oh, having uh, Parkinson's. But you know what? She was a cunt. Yeah, she was. I was so horrible in high school. I used to sell uh, kindergarten's kids' lunches. <laughs> that was in our Votech class. Yeah, yeah. I think we, I threw I, a printer I, out the window yeah. in that same class. I think we previously talked about this on a couple episodes, but yeah, we yeah, were we weren't too good of kids. Jay threw a printer out the window. I was stealing hot dogs from kids. It was horrible. To be fair, I warned her. Yeah, you did. You did warn her. <laughs> For yeah. those of you who haven't ca- watched our back catalog, we were in Votech together from computers and technology, mm-hmm. and uh, she she would like fucking she basically signed us up as a free labor force for a while there to fix all the computer equipment in the district which would have been all fine and good but if you know anything about old timey laser printers they had a nasty habit of like yeah. fucking electrocuting the hell out of you and, and that's what it you. felt like it felt like we were a china sweatshop <laughs> yeah in fact even her 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 lesson was uh, never touch these capacitors or anything, or don't work on monitors, don't work on these lasers. Yeah, that was one of the first things she said. That was like the first you. day. Never touch monitors, never they could touch kill printers. You. Yeah, and she even said, up to a year, don't even touch them. Yeah. Because they can store electricity. And now, now with today's monitors, it's not the same deal. But anyway, back in the day with the big old fucking CRTs. But anyway, uh, so she says that, and I tell her uh, she wants me to work on this fucking laser printer. I said, I don't know enough about laser printers, and I don't feel comfortable doing it. And if it burns me, I'm going to throw it out the fucking window. So it burned me, so I threw it out the fucking window. Yeah. So she hauls me off to the director of the program, because of course she did. And uh, I told my side of the story. She told her side of the story. He looks at her and goes, well, he told you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you got Parkinson's. <laughs> That's why she didn't want her to work on it. She shook, she shook too much. <laughs> yeah, she would hit that fucking capacitor. Yeah. She used to try to make us try to figure out what's wrong with computers and shit every day. She put tape on her network cards. And yeah. <laughs> like one time she came in and she's like, she's like, I want you to find out what's wrong with your, you know, computer and stuff like that. I remember I pulled out the network card. And I'm like, there's fucking tape on it. <laughs> she she's was, like, Shh, don't shit. tell everyone. <laughs> and of course, all of us second, Casey was in first year at the time I was in second year. All yeah. of us second years are just like, we found it two minutes and we're like playing video games. Yeah, it, it's it's fucking funny. <laughs> in fact, uh, the the goal of the program was also to get us to get our A plus certifications. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of us in the second year program. After a while, she got tired of dealing with us because we were smarter than her and knew more <laughs> than she did. I know. Uh, I think we taught her more than she taught us. Yeah, like she didn't even know what MS config is. Yeah. I was like, really? What's that? I'm like, it's a useful tool. You should really know this. Yeah, it was, anyway, it was bad. Anyway, so we all knew more than she did. So she just assigned us to do this like A plus prep test program called A plus Shredder, and we all just figured out well we could just take the scores and like change the change the section and change the score and yeah. just turn it in. <laughs> she wanted us to to, to 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 print out the the scores, you know. Uh. So we just started changing it and fucking printing out one, giving it to her, and then playing video games all the rest of the fucking 
Yeah, it, it, it is, it's fucking funny. And I remember like when we first started, she's like, no video games. <laughs> we had so yeah. many video games. We had this creepy Alice game that we used to play where it was Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, American McGee's Alice. Yeah. I love that game. It was, it was like an evil game. Like It was dark. And then we used to play Diablo. And then we had a huge Doom <laughs> oh yeah, we had like the big Doom Land party. Yeah, Doom Land parties. Attention. It was so fucking fun, dude. We used to play Diablo and shit and Starcraft and all that. Oh man, it, it, we we fucking took. We all never there. got caught either. That's the worst part. But of this. I was rem- so bad. I know, but I remember she said no video games at the beginning of the you know uh, class and everything like that. And I remember she was like, okay, maybe. And then we just. Sorry, we just went off. <laughs> like, well, like we, we were hiding it. it for a while, and she was pretty strict with it. And she was like, "No, no video games." And then she, we were just treated like shit. And she just like had no choice. Like, I felt like <laughs> we we forced her into submission. Yeah, like I like now that I think about it, that I'm older, she hated coming to work. I guarantee it. We were so mean to her. Well, the problem was she tried it, like the first day she tried to like assert superiority over mm-hmm. us in like the most smug yeah. way possible. Mm-hmm. And us as a bunch of relatively intelligent nerdy teenagers <laughs> who who actually and I'm not going to lie to you on this. I'm not even dr- trying to be like oh, oh look at me. I'm so cool. Yeah. <laughs> look at my neck beard. No, we, we all we all knew way more than she did just because uh-huh. we had like taught ourselves from like yeah. the moment we could fucking like hold a keyboard yeah and then know? that's the thing that's like right when the internet was getting popular too yeah and it was, it was like big, yeah. and and that was when i decided that teaching was sort of at a crossroads at that point because these teachers came in that were older all right they you know were taught certain things i know older people today that still don't use the internet so you came in you taught a bunch of kids that knew how to use the internet so there was this huge information gap if, yeah if you would call it that that I, I i think had a lot to do with it well uh, i mean let's face facts after you get to a certain age even those of us that grew up with this stuff mm-hmm. there's like there's shit now that there's people that are like in their early 20s they can like fucking do things that i'd never even imagine with a computer oh, yeah. because they know things and technologies mm-hmm. that i don't know because no. after a while you get complaints in yeah you do you get to a point where it's like you've gotten what you need to know to get done what you need to do you get established into habits mm-hmm. and uh I, like if i went in to teach a class right now the same way she did i bet you they'd be walking all over me too oh yeah i, I I'm pretty exactly, good, yeah, but yeah. I'm not as good as them. Yeah, because like she, like, uh, like I said, that's when the internet was getting very popular, and you know, I don't even think cable modem was very broad then. No, we had a T1 line, and we thought we were fucking hot yeah, shit there. exactly. And I, I remember a lot of household homes still had cable modem 56k. You know, AOL. I did at home. Yeah, yeah, uh, uplink and stuff like that. But the but the thing is, is you know, you had this older lady coming in trying to tell these younger kids that she wasn't even that old. She's yeah. in her thirties. But but older than us, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know that she went to school for all this stuff. All right, and, and she's been in the industry. Yeah, we schooled ourselves. We we sit there and we read all this shit on the internet. We taught ourselves and everything like that. So there was a huge informational gap, and I think that's what it was. And she just must have hated her job. We yeah, were going so going back. I feel so bad. Some, yeah, like somewhat. oh god, it was god awful. Had she not been smug though in the beginning, it probably would have been a whole different. Yeah, story. she just she just rubbed us the wrong way. And those of us in the second year program too, we had had the value of a teacher who really knew his shit the year before. Mm. Not only was it just computers and networking, like it was for you guys when yeah. you came in. But for those, uh, for us, we learned how to solder. We learned how to like, to and that's another resistors. thing I remember. Yeah, I remember that now. We because, we were building circuit boards. Yeah. We learned like the nitty gritty. Because I remember she had more problem with the second year people than she did with the first year. Like right, first, because we had the value of yeah, a teacher who knew. That's his I remember shit. that. Okay, I do remember that now. Yeah, she she wasn't as good as the teacher before that. And I remember he just retired or whatever. Yeah, and I remember you guys complained about that because she wasn't very hands on. And it she was, just it was just stupid. <clears throat> remedial bullshit yeah i remember she had a lot of worksheets and shit yeah and you guys were saying about how the guy before that was you know solder this, built do stuff this. yeah she we was just like things. oh here's a worksheet we, we had like fucking bucket baskets and shit full of resistors and diodes and mm-hmm. and, and microcontrollers and we built shit to we do built things this city. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> yeah we, we were building things that you know most 
people look at it like, how could you make that? Well, yeah. we learned how to make that. Uh-huh. We built tic tac toe games and shit. That's all really simple to oh, do. Yeah, that's but, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, see, she didn't really. But do she any didn't that. do any of that. Yeah. Like, you didn't learn about the electronics, the things that made a, made the shit tick. Mm-hmm. You know, you learned about IRQ conflicts instead yeah. of learning about you know this is what a transistor is, this is what it does, this is how you make it do what you want it to do. Yeah, since you brought that up, I do remember that now. Yeah, because a lot of people like I still talk to people like Calvin. You remember Calvin? Yeah, yeah Calvin lived... was in not terribly long ago in the restaurant. I think. Yeah, yeah, he uh, yeah he lives around here and everything. I still talk to him. I play World of Warcraft with him oh do you yeah couldn't tell go him. one episode without mentioning world of warcraft <laughs> tell him i said what's up i will see him next. yeah i will uh but that reminds me um we're talking about video games and everything like that uh i found this awesome like i said i was watching twitch and they do like a showcase on the front page just to you know show people what's going on and there was this guy he's called the 8-bit drummer oh, and yeah. he was just sitting there with a drum set playing uh drums to video games music it was awesome I guess I need to put my headphones on for this, huh? Yeah, it was amazing. Right. And and it was just, I can't believe I never heard of this guy before. And looking at his stuff, he gets only about 3,000 views, like 1,000. Like some videos have 1,000 views on it. I'm just like, what is going on? Well, we don't get that, so, you know. Yeah. Just... Like right here he is, and I'll show you here. For anyone that's watching on YouTube. Sounds trippy. <laughs> like, he's he's really Dude, goofy. Like, he laughs a lot and shit, but I do too. But Yo, what's up, Elfkin? Or and he's really good. Elf, Elfkin? <laughs> he also plays, like, dubstep and shit like that well. and all this stuff. Sub. But uh, you can listen to it if you're listening to it on our podcast. But uh, anyone that's watching YouTube, uh, I have it up on here. But if not, you can check him out. He's called The 8-Bit Gamer. And he's really good. And he just plays video games to drums. <laughs> with drums it's awesome and he's really really good this is a sort of calm one <laughs> actually this sounds like an 8 bit like uh shit what band am I thinking of Rush doesn't it does this sound like Rush <laughs> maybe a little <laughs> I'll skip along see if he gets a little crazier Yeah, that's all he does. <laughs> Is it pretty good? <laughs> I I like it. Yeah, he looks young and everything like that. But he plays a bunch of shit like that. Yeah, check him out. He's called the 8-Bit Gamer. What the hell was that? Yeah, that's you. Oh. Fucking scared the shit out of me. I was like, where was the UFOs at? <laughs> They're coming to get me, man! Yeah. Um, yeah, he's just really good. Like I said, he's called the 8-Bit Gamer. He's on YouTube. Uh, he streams on Twitch. I think he just takes a lot of his stuff from Twitch, and he puts it on uh, his YouTube or whatever like that. But check him out. He's amazing. Uh, he's, you know. We'll, we'll post the link in our socials. Yeah. It'll be available for you on Thursday. Um, yeah, and not only does he do 8-bit gaming stuff, but he also does a lot of dubstep. He drums to dubstep, which is really interesting because he puts a really weird spin on it. And uh, you know, you can tell he he has some kind of musical background, obviously, but like he's he's very mixed. Well, like when he streams and everything, you can hear the gaming music and the drums perfectly. Like he's he's awesome. Check him out. He's called Eight Bit Gamer. Like I said, uh, give him some love and everything like that. Uh, yeah. Well, we're onto our things we love. I'll, I'll bring up one too. I've been starting to watch a show. Mm-hmm. Um, it's an anime. I'm not a big anime fan. I'm not either. So don't like shoot me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I like either. Dragon Ball Z, I, and and I'm a really bad anime fan because I can't stand subs. I'm a dub guy. I don't like subs. Yeah. Subs annoy the fuck out of me. <laughs> if I wanted to read a book, I'd read a book. I know subs which annoy I do. when they don't have extra mayonnaise on them. <laughs> <laughs> like I, you know what it is? I can't pay attention to the subs and I know and, and this the screen at the same yep. time. I yep. spend too I don't much time you. reading it. I personally don't mind subs, but I know where you're coming from. I completely understand. Right. So uh, anyway, uh, Cartoon Network just started showing this show, and uh, it's called Tokyo Ghoul. And, oh, I never even heard of that. Yeah, they just started playing it. They're only on the oh, I don't know how many episodes. But uh, you need to watch it. It's on. It's on on the uh, tsunami thing. But mm-hmm. you can also go on Funimation, and uh, if you start a trial, we are not sponsored by Funimation. Although, hey, Funimation, if you want to sponsor us, we're totally <laughs> kind of cool with that. But you can start like a seven day free trial or something like that, and, and watch Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, all the fr- there's two seasons of it so far, and uh, they are fantastic. It follows. 
Tokyo, obviously, and there's these creatures called ghouls that feed on the flesh of human beings. They they look like human beings for the most part, but they they feed. So on this the flesh show is of based off of marriage. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I had to get my woman hating in there. <laughs> As I was saying. Anyway, so they look exactly like humans. They work and live around humans, but they eat people. Oh, nice. And uh, it is just uh, the 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 episodes that they're showing on Cartoon Network are censored. Because mm. of, of course they are. Yeah, man. But if you go on Funimation, you can watch the uncensored episodes, and it's just gory, it's bloody, it's a horror, it's a horror cartoon. And um, the story revolves around this kid named Kaneki, uh, Ken Kaneki, who uh, he is infatuated with this chick. She he ends up going on a date with this chick. She ends up being one of these ghouls, and due to a series of events, he ends up with her organs inside his body, which makes him more ghoul than human. So, oh God! So he's in the he's in the process of trying to like exist simultaneously between the world of the humans and the world of the ghouls, and there's this whole fucking war starting between humans and ghouls, and this whole thing is just I, I mean, there's this character in there that's like called the Jason of the Thirteen Ward, who tortures the fuck out of people. Jason like, Thirteen, those two numbers, yeah. <laughs> And it's just like there's a sadistic bastard in there that you'll see. And there's just, it's absolutely stunning how how good this is and how gory and how much shit they have going on in there. Uh, I would definitely recommend signing up to Trial Funimation so you can check this out. Uh, there's other ways to acquire the show, but I recommend going through the official channels. Yeah. Uh, the, the dub version's great. Um, you know, it uses the same Funimation people that are in everything Funimation does. You know, Christopher yeah. Sabat and uh, Sean Chamel and all those people. But uh, it's it's great. Great show. Really enjoying it. Uh, you can watch it on Cartoon Network, but you're missing out a lot of it. They mm. The way they censor it's kind of weird. Yeah. They take, like, a, these black hazy things and put it over all the blood and shit. So, like, oh, yeah, it's that gory that they have to... Oh my god! Yeah, it's actually Cartoon Network's pretty good about it on Adult Swim. Like they show some pretty sick shit, but uh, no, it must is, be pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It's, it's gory. Yeah, it I like, mean, for what, a cartoon, what's it called again? Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul. Okay, this sounds pretty. Is a, I, I, I thought it was interesting when you're like, yeah, he's dating this girl, and somehow he gets his or, or her organs in him. I'm like, <laughs> sold. <laughs> no, it's, it's great. And um, no, like I, like I was trying not to be perverted there for a there's, minute. There, there's <laughs> like these, I was, I was actually being serious. That sounds interesting. Yeah, there's these investigators that uh, try to control the ghoul population, and they're at war with the ghouls. And it's just, it really is a fantastic show. I've started getting into the huh, second people season. People trying to control population. That's weird. <laughs> well, to be fair, these people eat them. I know. So, you know. It's just, that's exactly what would happen. That's exactly what would happen. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, and, and it, here's the other thing, too. It doesn't, the show does not seem to play favorites. Uh-huh. Uh, it tells the story of both the investigators mm -hmm. and the ghouls. That's cool. So, it's like you're looking at both sides of the whole thing, mm -hmm. and you realize both sides have noble reasons for believing what they do and no. doing what they do and it really makes you there's no hero here yeah yeah so, that's that's why i, I would actually and that's really the like reality that. yeah that's yeah. the reality of conflict you yeah. know exactly that's why it's called conflict you, exactly what you said is you're torn you're torn between and that's why i like game of thrones game of thrones there's some evil fucking people in there but they 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 get you so much into the character you understand them and that's why it's just like I forget you were talking about something, some other show you were watching, and uh, the bad guy they sympathize with him and stuff like that, and you're like rooting for him to win. And you're like, wait, I'm rooting for the bad guy. <laughs> well, that was Breaking Bad, actually. Oh, okay, All right, that's right. I think you were talking about that. Yeah, and that's that's just good writing to me. That is very good writing to me. If you if you can make someone like have sympathy for an, a bad guy or a you know enemy. Or something like that. That's good writing to me. Because it's just amazing. It's just awesome. Kudos. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Breaking Bad just starts off and, you know. Of course, if you if you look at it today, Breaking Bad wouldn't actually work out so well if it was in, in Europe. Mm -hmm. I saw a comic the other day. made me laugh. It's like, European, uh, UK Breaking Bad. Uh, Mr. White, you have inoperable cancer. But that's okay. Because you can get your health care paid for here. I know. It's like, oh. Okay. <laughs> I know it wouldn't happen. And that, that's what I'm saying. Like someone was saying about how that's how bad, like 
the healthcare, you know, insurance thing is in America. They made a show based on it where a guy starts drug dealing to pay for his cancer treatment. <laughs> like, but to be fair, spoiler alert. <laughs> to be fair, if you really watch the show, it comes down to it. He never really did that because of the cancer treatment. Well, at he first, he did it because yeah. he felt like it, not even really. That. Well, at he first, did it for himself. Yeah, but at first, you can tell he's like sort of nervous and shit, and he he's wants like to leave really money for his family. Yeah. But he, and he then uses, he's like, then he's like, okay, I love being a drug dealer. <laughs> right. the, the the money is like part of it, but yeah. I mean, ultimately, he likes the power and the prestige that comes mm-hmm. with it. He does yeah. it because it makes him feel important. And that's and that's the thing. I I, you know, I see a lot of people live very mundane lives, and I'm just like, oh, they got a taste. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, you know, if you watch that show, it's Walter White is just evil. He really, truly goes to the evil side and decides that, you know, all this stuff that he does, he does for his own thrills. Mm. Whereas the person who goes along with him, Jesse, does it for money and he yep. ends up getting in way over his head. And, and see, and I remember first watching it because I've watched the first two seasons. I have. I've never finished it. But in the first two seasons, when they introduce stuff and they start introducing characters, they show Walter White is the good guy. He has, you know, a pretty normal family. His kid has, like, several palsy or something I think, like that. Yeah, I think it's um, palsy. But it's, it's the American dream family, basically. He gets cancer, puts a stop in everything, and he meets this Jesse guy. And they show this Jesse guy as a young kid, drug dealer, piece of shit. And, you know, Walter White is this guy just trying to save his family. But then you get more into it, and it turns into Jesse's this scared little kid. And Walter White is, like, becoming a mastermind drug dealer. Like, And and anybody who stands in his way dies. Yeah. and they, In fact, it, I, I was re-watching the series, and I didn't realize this the first time around. You really go through and realize again, like, oh, all, yeah. Oh, yeah. all the awful things he oh, decided. Yeah. I mean, he murders somebody in the first episode. Oh, yeah. I didn't remember that. Yeah. Oh, but he yeah. did. He murdered somebody in the first episode. Mm-hmm. And then he murdered somebody again in, like, the third episode. Like, the dude starts off right off the bat with murdering. Yeah. I don't remember Jesse murdering anybody until further on down the road. No. No, I don't. I And like I said, I've only watched the two, uh, first two seasons. This was years ago. Um, so I don't remember. Uh, I mean, by the way, the whole spoiler alert thing's bullshit. If you haven't watched it and the show's, like, what, eight years old now? Yeah. If you are going to watch it, was it like, you would have. It was not really that well promoted. Like, it was on AMC. Um and it just took off like it was just AMC. It was a great show. Yeah, AMC. Vince Gilligan's a goddamn genius. Yeah, and it was just amazing. And now you know AMC's you know doing The Walking Dead. And that's what they're famous for and stuff. I don't know. Like we were talking about the other day, like how the CW's fucking stepping up their game and everything like that. I don't know. Like I think I don't know if it's Netflix or what, but TV's really starting to step up its game, and it has to because you know things like Netflix, Hulu, and all this shit. Like Netflix and Marvel. Right now, they're just they're just releasing superhero f- franchises. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, you know, like Daredevil, which is great. I cannot wait till the next season. And you know what they do? Because uh, Netflix is a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> they're like, hey, we're not going to release them episode by episode. We're going to release the whole season so you can binge watch. <laughs> I, I'm know, like, ah, Netflix. Part of me doesn't actually <laughs> like that, to be honest with you. Yeah, really. But I'm also the kind of guy who doesn't watch shows until like long after they're already done, so I can I watch it all. Yeah, I know. That's that's the way I am. That's the thing that's killing me right now about Better Call Saul is like I'm watching it as it airs, and it's like I want to know what happened now. Yeah, I know. Because I'm a spoiled kid. Because I I, I watched Breaking Bad long after the show was over. Mm. So it's like I watched it all, it, and I think I literally watched it over the course of a month. Yeah, and that's what Netflix does. They're like, hey, Daredevil Season 3 is coming out. Here's every episode. <laughs> and it's like, uh, Netflix, you know the neck beard. Netflix, you crazy. <laughs> uh, Netflix and chill. <laughs> I wonder if that's ever worked. Uh, that actually reminds me. I've seen this great way to pick up girls. <laughs> of course you did. This guy was walking around carrying a bunch of boxes, and he would go up to a girl and he'd be like, hey, excuse me, um, my hands are full. Can you pull my phone out for me? And she would pull out her phone and he'd be like, okay, now just put your number in it. <laughs> that's and she, smooth. I know. That's exactly what the girl said. She goes, oh, that's smooth. He goes, I know. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, a girl, you know, I, it, it was just weird. You know why it was weird to me? Because a guy interacted with a girl and she didn't sue him for rape. 
god, really? Dude, it's getting bad, man. Guys can't even say hi to women these days without getting that shit. But that's another Tumblr story. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so... Uh... <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, you know I can't go. There, there's two things. It's like 20 minutes is your max. <laughs> there's two things. I can't go one show without mentioning World of Warcraft. And <laughs> two, I can't go one show without uh, hating on women. <laughs> but like I said in previous episodes, if I was a woman, I'd be hating on men. People just suck. <laughs> That's true. People do suck. How yeah. much time do we have left? Uh, we're pretty much out of time. We have literally done no stories today. So okay. I know. I, I, I don't know. We were just talking, ranting, shit like that. That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. I don't know. Uh, that's why we just appreciate people watching. Like, me and Jay, you know. Let, we, let me just throw this in there quick. The whole reason I played that sound effect at the beginning was uh, because uh, Richard Simmons is suing the Inquirer for claiming that he's having a sex change. So, uh, that that's what that was. That was the relevancy that was supposed to tie in later on down the road. But go look for the story yourselves. He's suing the National Enquirer because somebody should. Yeah, and that's the thing. That That's probably like a baiting thing. The whole reason, you know, this whole missing thing and all this, he's not talking to people or whatever he's like that. He's taking a fucking break. I know, and that's the, the little, thing. He's little. been in the spotlight for how long? I'm the type of person, I hang out with a person, you know, for 10 minutes, I'm like, I need to be alone. Let the little afro <laughs> tank top wearing fruit be. I know, just who fucking cares? And, God, and I think this is off. a baiting thing. I think this is a baiting thing. Hey, let's make a fucking stupid story so he comes out and starts well, talking Well, it's that us. whole former assistant of his. But anyway. All right. Well, I guess we're out of time. So uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Google+. Plus. Uh, subscribe to us on Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, uh, TuneIn Radio, your favorite podcatcher platform. And make sure, if you haven't yet, check us out on YouTube. We record every show. Uh, it's just a talking head video for the most part, but we put up some visual shit sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's it's worth watching. Like Jay's sexy body. Hey! <laughs> we also do a show called Wire Wednesday that is uh, YouTube exclusive. We have some more of those coming on down the road. So we'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Uh, don't fuck your uh, don't fuck your stepchildren, uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> And if you do, and you're walking around a year later, uh, go fuck yourselves. Yes. Amen. See next Have week. a good one. See you later. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>